So this video is feels really strange doing because I did this. In fact, I covered this uh, <laughs> back in 2012. Back, it was one of my very first videos I ever ever did um, when I first started doing this channel debunking some of the stuff Alex Jones did. So one of the first things I did was, well, how does Jones get his money? And, you know, the, um, you know, the media industry and the journalists have literally, in the, in the past couple of weeks, there have been a couple of stories surfaced all about Jones and him selling his supplements. I covered this back in 2012, but, you know, uh, it's worth covering again because I think it's worth you know, covering even more. Because if you ever, ever watched, you know, Alex Jones for an hour, maybe two, um, this is literally how the program goes. It's, you know, scare, 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 conspiracy, 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 sell, sell, sell. And it's absolutely insane. Because Jones will sell countless, countless um, amounts of supplements. In fact, one of the quotes um, literally says that they sold more supplements than QVC, a channel that is purely dedicated to selling you junk. So that's just how much uh, good a salesman Jones actually is. But this isn't his only source of income because Jones on his show will constantly, will constantly say that there is no money, that they are literally at the end of the month they are going to run out of money, <coughs> that the show can only run for two or three months at a time. And Jones pulls this scam constantly. I mean if you remember back in the day uh, he ran a something called a money bomb. Uh, the whole idea was that basically people needed to give him like a gigantic load of cash, like something about um, I think it was it was asking for something like a hundred million to basically improve his um, you know broadcasting capability so that he could reach more of the country yet <laughs> there you know but you know he never really achieved that he's just a more shall we say opened up doors to distribution shall we say um but yeah and people gave it to him and that wasn't the first time he'd run it he's run it um you know back in my original video i said he'd run that scam about eight times um, since um, yeah he'd run it eight times in like four in like no in six years that may not sound a lot but if you're asking for about a hundred million dollars that's suddenly quite a lot of money and I don't know if he's ran it this idea of just running a money bomb since then but I'm pretty sure he has and you may be asking, well, why has the media suddenly decided to take an interest in Jones and his, you know, where does he get his money from? Well, because Jones has now become a source of news, but <laughs> for many people, unfortunately, but a lot of people do count this guy as a legitimate news source. But there is no way you should. I mean, this is why the media laughs at him constantly. But now, because literally... You have the President of the United States appearing on his show um, who supposedly listens to Alex Jones and Infowars. Then, yeah, you've now got to start paying attention to what he's saying because Trump re retweets a lot of Infowars stuff. So Jones is now going to come under more and more shall we say, media media attention and media scrutiny, shall we say, which is a good thing, because Jones will start to get exposed for what he is, which is a, a massive, you know, con con merchant conspiracy salesman. Um, he 
basically, you know, as I said at the beginning of this video, he, you know, it's all scare and sell, scare and sell. That's literally how his program goes um, from, you know, every hour for a four hour block. And on recently, John Oliver, um, where they covered this, they said that they, that Jones spends of his, his entire, like, four hour block, you know, over a quarter of that time is spent just selling. <laughs> it's it's absolutely insane. No other program, even if you were to do advertisements in that, you know, that four hour block, that would just be massive overkill, you know, selling that amount of adverts. But Jones does it and gets away with it because, you know, it's for the good of humanity. But it's, it's absolutely unbelievable the amount of stuff that Jones has get, gotten away with over the years. But now that the media might be paying more attention to him, it might be interesting to see how many times Jones gets out for, for doing, you know, the ridiculous stuff he's doing. I mean, back in the day, Jones got caught out um, as being part of a solar power selling scam that this company would sell you solar panels and you'd give them the money and then you'd never get the panels now even after that scam had been found out jones still ended up um running the web the web adverts for this company for another another couple of months uh after this had all been you know found out and brought to the attention so jones knows full well about a lot of this you know, scam nonsense, but he's just good at selling it. And, you know, we've already covered in the past, you know, Jones lives in a, a mansion. There was a lot of stuff in his divorce case. Again, that's why his divorce case was a big deal, because he had made himself, because of all the Trumps in office and you know, retweeting his stuff, of course he's now become a more public figure. And because of now he's now become a more public fi figure, for say more for ridicule, you know, your average person really understands that Jones is an absolute lunatic and, you know, shouldn't be taken seriously. But unfortunately, he has a large audience that does take him seriously. And this is, you know, that is a message for, some, for concern, and it should be. Because Jones says a lot of absolutely outrageous stuff. Remember, he's still to this day promoting the idea that, you know, the Sandy Hook thing, uh, the, the whole Sandy Hook massacre was a, you know, a complete hoax. And because of that, the, you know, the victims and you know, the victims' families have been, you know, harassed completely by these idiots. And it's not just um, those families, but a lot of other people have been harassed before by Jones. And even in the past, um, this has happened. So, you know, these people shouldn't be underestimated, um, you know, before Jones. Remember, as I've said in the past, you've had people phoning into Alex Jones' show, literally saying, OK, Alex, I've got my gun. Um, you know, who's who do I go for first? And he's had to calm them down. Those those do exist on the online. Um but he, he, it's absolutely unbelievable how this guy has become so big and over the years only gotten bigger. Basically through being, you know, a lie. And you can tell, you can see now his ability to sell has what's made him so big. You know, if he is literally outperforming a, a network designed to sell you stuff, then he's no longer a news network. He's literally conspiracy QVC. That is literally all he is. And, um, you know, you, I can make this video, but it won't convince a lot of the Alex Jones fans because they're not. They are cocooned, shall we say, in a web of conspiracies. And I've talked about this before, but these people, when they go into conspiracies, they just get cocooned because they can't unravel themselves because one conspiracy is connected to another conspiracy is connected to another. So they can't just, you know, cut one thread because their entire cocoon unravels. 
and this is why they are so, you know, fervent and, you know, absolutely, you know, batshit crazy. But <laughs> there you go. So, you know, that's all I've got to say on Jones. And I won't be going back covering because I originally covered the guy originally, you know, back when I first started this channel. And, you know, I discovered there's no point trying to change these people's minds because they've already got the inbuilt design not to. You know, I went on, you know, a conspiracy podcast where, you know, they gave me the runaround. You can still listen to it. I've seen a playlist. Um, but it's it's absolutely insane, uh, some of these people, and one, just some of the stuff they generally believe, but that's that's it, and it, it's it's unbelievable why they go to have gone to such lengths. But now you're getting into a lot of you know psychology, the conspiracy theorists, which is very interesting, by the way. So I'd recommend going to look that up. Um, so yeah. <laughs>